as we approach the new year later tonight. I guess for many of us there are wonderful memories of parties or first footing, heading out to celebrate and to mark this massive change that came with every previous new year. Of course, none of that is possible today. For me, New Year's Eve often as a teenager meant congering down the middle of the street in Friston Street in Fulham, or even along the Wandsworth Bridge Road. Or sometimes it meant heading up to Trafalgar Square and joining the crowds around the column and in the fountains. Wonderful memories. But New Year's Eve for me is also a special day. It is my spiritual birthday. It's a day on which I remember as a young, young adolescent really, deciding and knowing that following Almighty God was something that was for me and not simply inherited from my parents. It was a decision day for me and a really precious thing to decide to start the new year with Jesus. I want to encourage you as we worship together this evening to think of the coming of Christ to you today in place of first footing, welcoming Christ afresh as we commit ourselves for the coming year. There's a very beautiful and much loved hymn which has been contemporised a little, turning it from a prayer into a declaration of faith. Chris is going to sing for us. Feel free to join in and make this first declaration. <laughs>
of Psalm 31 have been so precious to me and they feel hugely important at this turn of a year. David uses this psalm to make some really grand gestures, the biggest faith statements of all. You are my God, my rock, my fortress. You are my refuge, despite every circumstance around him. In you, O oh Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Turn your ear to me. Come quickly to my rescue. Be my rock of refuge. Since you are my rock and my fortress. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Keep me from the trap that is set before me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Deliver me, Lord, my faithful God. I hate those who cling to worthless idols. As for me, I trust the Lord. So despite some pretty grim circumstances, some situations in which David really was struggling in response to threats and challenges and misery, in this same psalm, David goes on to make an extraordinary bold claim. My times are in your hands. He says this, I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hands. That means, David's saying, my ups and my downs, my health and my sickness, my poverty and my wealth. All those are in the hands of the Lord, who arranges and appoints the length of my days and the darkness of my nights. We dwell within the palm of the Lord. We are absolutely at his disposal. But David's times were in God's hands in another sense, in that he had, by faith, committed them all to God. Back in verse 5, into your hands I commit my spirit. This is the process by which we have all made our commitment to Jesus, whether that was once long ago, as it was for me, or in a more slowly growing awareness. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Such powerful words that Jesus himself used as he submitted to the will of the Father. But the words aren't just about dying, but about living into your hands, I commit my spirit. You see, if we can live with a clear conviction that our times are in the hand of God, it will create within us a sense of the nearness of God. Spurgeon, the, the great preacher uh, of many years ago now, <laughs> Spurgeon argued that a firm conviction of this truth is what he described as a quietus to future dread. My times are in your hands. Now I had to look up what quietus really meant. But many of us live with a worry about the future. And it's often based on past experience of pain and struggle. But what Spurgeon was saying is a quietus puts an end to the need. 
He says, if we can daily declare this truth, God puts a final settlement, a quietus, around dread. My times are in your hands, Lord. And the very word times supposes change for us, supposes change for you. But the issue is that the character of God does not change. So with God, we need not live in fear. Our times, past, present and future are in God's hands. And finally, in this psalm, I want to highlight the last few verses. Love the Lord, all you faithful people. The Lord preserves those who are true to him, but the proud he pays back in full. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. You see, finally, our conviction that our times are in God's hands is a reason for our consecrated or committed service of God. A call to love, a call to be strong and to take heart. What better way to enter the new year of 2021? Another very beautiful new song of, the, of recent years describes the character of God. You are the way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. That is who you are. Again, feel free to sing along. You are here, moving in our midst I worship you, I worship you You are here, working in this place I worship you, I worship you You are Made maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are here. Touching every heart I worship you I worship you You are here Healing every heart I worship you I worship you You are way maker, miracle worker Promise keeper, light in the darkness My God, that is who you are You are way maker, miracle worker Promise keeper, light in the darkness My God, that is who you are You are here, turning lives around I worship you, I worship you, you are here, mending every heart, I worship you, I worship you, you are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are You are 
Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. You are waymaker, miracle worker. Promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are waymaker, miracle worker. Promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you into the new year. Here are seven pretty audacious prayers for us to pray together wherever we find ourselves tonight. These are prayers for life, for the remainder of our lives, based on that first principle of commitment to Jesus. So seven simple prayers of commitment. Lord, I believe in you. Lord, I put my full trust in you. Lord, I love you with all my heart. Lord, I need your grace, mercy, healing, wisdom and power. Lord, you are everything to me. Lord, cleanse me from all sin and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, use me for your glory. Amen. All that I am, all that I have, I lay them down before you, O oh Lord. All my regrets, all my acclaim, the joy and the pain, I'm making them yours. Lord, I offer my life to you, everything I've been through. Use it for your glory. Lord, I offer my days to you, lifting my praise to you as a pleasing sacrifice. Lord, I offer you my life. Things in the past, things yet unseen, wishes and dreams that are yet to come true. All of my hopes, all of my plans, my heart and my hand are lifted to you. Lord, I offer my life to you, everything I've been through. Use it for your glory. Lord, I offer my days to you, lifting my praise to you. Sacrifice, Lord, I offer you my life. Lord, I offer my life to you, everything I've been through. Use it for your glory, Lord, I offer my days to you, lifting my praise to you. As a pleasing sacrifice, Lord, I offer you my life.
On the screen shortly will be some words of prayerful commitment. I invite you to reflect on them. As we've sung, Lord, I offer my life to you. Let's reflect on these words and say them as far as we're able, wholeheartedly, in commitment to Jesus for 2021. Enter, Lord Jesus. We have joy in your coming. You have given us life and we welcome your coming. O oh God, oh God, you, you have, have been, been good. good. You, you have, have been, been faithful. faithful. You, you have, have shown, shown us your love through all the years of our, our lives. Life. You have given us life and reason and set us in a world which is full of your glory. In darkness you have been our light, in adversity and temptation a rock of strength. Your loving kindness is everlasting. Forgive us God, that we have not loved you with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength, we have taken much and returned little thanks. We have been unworthy of your unchanging love. Forgive us our coldness and indifference, our lack of constant love, our unbelief, our false pretenses and our refusal to understand your ways. Be tender in your mercy, Lord. Be tender in your mercy. Teach, Teach us your ways, ways O Lord, Lord, and let, let us walk in your truth. truth. We, we put behind us our stubborn independence, independence and turn again, again to, to you. you. Amen. And now we end our short time of worship again with a hymn of commitment. A hymn that says, Lord, I'm available. You call, I respond. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my life and let it be Consecrated, Lord, to Thee Take my moments and my days Let them flow in ceaseless praise And let them move at the impulse of thy love. Take my feet and let them be swift and beautiful for thee. Take my voice and let me sing. silver and my gold no 
thine own. It shall be thy royal throne. Take my love, my Lord, I pour at thy feet its treasure store. Take myself. bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace this night and forevermore. Amen.